Hi all, uh, Cubix FPV here, just finishing off this this Armatan Chameleon build. Um, one thing to point out, uh, I'll put some um, some titles on the screen, the mistakes in the earlier bit, but I, I don't know if anyone spotted it, but uh, I soldered the uh, the five volt supply to the to the ground and the signal rather than the ground and the positive, so the flight controller and the uh, receiver weren't getting five volts, which is a bit of a Bit of a schoolboy error. Fortunately, it didn't blow anything up, and I've just shifted it over, and everything works fine now. Uh, when when you power it on, so I have had this thing hovering uh, in the kitchen, but obviously there's no FPV gear. So tonight, what I'm going to be doing is put the FPV gear in, work out how all that goes, get the camera in the VTX, um, and then probably do a bit of stuff just to, just to make this build a bit more durable so stick some foam under the ASCs um, uh, perhaps put a, a prop blade over the top and just tape those down just to keep keep those protected um, get some foam on the the, uh, the, the receiver again zip tie that down with the, uh, the with the VTX and then I'll probably go around on the flight controller on both sides anywhere where we've got these connections and um, and just put some hot glue on, um, be just be just to stop the the, the play. The, the non-silicon, the plastic coated wires are just terrible at sort of fraying. Uh, but hopefully, a bit of, a bit of hot glue will help that. I might actually shorten the cables to the uh, to this receiver as well because they're, like, they're way too long. So I might just snip those down. Um, this, this part of this video. Um, yeah. Okay. I think the next thing I'm just going to put in put the camera. In here, in the so I'm just going to take off this uh, camera holder. I think I need to. I've already taken the top plate off. Um, I think I might just need to take take both of these off and put the camera in and sort of rebuild it. So here goes. Is this Swift? Right, okay, just tried to be clever and um, make a loom by undoing connectors and redoing connectors. Uh, normally I just snip the wires and solder it. So I thought, thought I'd be clever doing it that way. It's just took me like an hour. Really fiddly, really difficult to keep track because all the wires are different colours. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Just snip it, get your soldering iron out, save you loads of time. But I think I have got there. Um, I've checked that Videos to video, audios to audio, um, all the polarity is okay. Um, so yeah, finally, after all that time, which has been a five minute job, we can start putting it in the, uh, in the copter. Uh, I do need to solder this onto VBAT, so I'll find somewhere to stick that. Try and put it on where this capacitor and um, the other VBAT connection is. Okay, I think that's all right. Right, it's hot glued. Oops. 
Hopefully that'll save me having to rebuild it anytime soon. Let's get these, these rubber things back on. Okay, right, so that's the connection for the uh, tram touch and race thing, which I'm going to fix on there, like that. I'll just probably just stick that on and zip tie it there. So you need to get the, the wand to it, so. That seems like a decent spot. Right, practically done now. Um, stuck an antenna on. Good old Triumph. Fancy one of those stubby ones. Um, put the pad in under there, and I'm just going to put some um, some old props over the top, just to um, keep those ESCs that little bit safer. Um, might just fix that top plate on first before I forget. And there we have it, my Armatan Chameleon. Pretty pleased with that.